Hi everyone, thanks for purchasing and welcome to this tutorial. I thought I'd just record a little intro video here just to give you a little heads up as the kind of thing we're going to be getting into. My name is Chris Rosewan and I'm a concept artist working in the British film industry. Here's a little selection of uh, my projects that I've been involved in over the past 15 years. And what I'm going to be demoing here is my workflow, which is generally designing and modeling directly in SketchUp rendering in Keyshot and finishing off with some um, effects and uh, atmosphere in Photoshop. Now then, here is not this one, but this one. This is uh, the actual um, model that will be included in the download files. And this is the completed uh, camera drone um, that I render at the end. Um, I have actually included the first generation of this one, which was the uh, one that just popped up on your screen here. This is the one that I posted on social media um, a while back, and it generated such a positive response that um, I was then encouraged to make a uh, make this um, uh, Gumroad tutorial demonstrating how I go about modeling this. I was kind of finding my feet with this version, so it's a little bit messier. Um, I've also included uh, this in the download files because um, I've modeled some of the interior here as I animated the side panels opening in the uh, in the video which you've just seen. Um, so I'll cl include this uh, first version as well as the uh, the, the finished model um, in the um, in the download files. Um, let's just get into plugins that um, I utilize and uh, I will be using in this one. Um, Sketchucation.com is a fantastic resource for SketchUp modelers. Um, it requires registering with an email address. Uh, once you've done this, you'll be able to go to the plugin store and down, download directly some uh, fantastic plugins and install them into SketchUp. I would encourage you to have a little look in here and have a uh, just get to grips with um, some of the uh, top rated plugins. Personally, for me, I'm kind of a purist, and um, I actually uh, kind of utilize three or four um, processes in in Sketch in SketchUp, which are kind of like the things that you would discover on uh, sort of page one and two of uh, modeling in SketchUp. Uh, so they're, they're they're very basic, and I just repeat them all the time. And um, I use a couple of plugins just to help speed things up, but. Um, I'm, I'm really only using um, basic modeling techniques. Um, the good thing is, is that um, you, know, you don't have to be an expert to generate this sort of um, level of modeling. So what are the plugins that I use? Um, I use uh, Round Corner a lot. So if uh, I just type this in here. So we've got here by Frito6, he's got a fantastic uh, selection of plugins. Um, I think I've got this one, which is the older version, but um, download this newer version. And what it will enable you to do is to add um, bevels and fillets to selected uh, geometry, uh, which is really, really handy and speeds things up a lot, especially when you're getting into uh, the sort of hard surface um, sort of uh, genre of 3D modeling that I like to, um, that I like to do. Uh, secondly is... Um, Add center point. I find this one really, really handy. Simple little plugin, but really, really saves me. Um, it's this one actually. It's called uh, Center Point All, and what this enables you to do is to add a center point marker on selected geometry. I don't know if you've ever found uh, that once you edit a face, um, it tends not to allow snapping to the center. So this is a really handy plugin that will enable you to align uh, center points very useful. Um, the last one is uh, joint push-pull. Wait for this one to uh, load. It's this one, another, another one of Fredo's tools, joint push-pull interactive. Um, what this will enable you to do is to push-pull curved faces and that's extremely handy for when you're doing uh, this sort of modeling. As you can see, um, I've basically been able to shell what they, uh, I believe that's called shelling. Um, I've been able to shell this sphere. You can see here, I've, I've put, I managed to put an edge on to it. So I've added a, a thickness. I think it was like a 20 mil thickness to this uh, sphere, which is 
you know, fantastic. And uh, the native push-pull tool um, does not allow you to push-pull curved geometry. So that's a really, really handy plugin. Um, after this, we, we will be uh, going into Keyshot, but feel free to take it into uh, any rendering package of your choice. Uh, once we've generated our renders, we'll be jumping into um, Photoshop. And um, I'm including all of these uh, three PSD uh, files in the, uh, in, the, in the Photoshop download uh, folder. Um, they are open PSD, so you'll be able to go through and deconstruct um, my process that I describe, as well as using some of the textures which I am actually including here. So we've got here the, um, the lens flare file, the um, fluorescent light texture, as well as some of the decals that I actually use and apply in Keyshot. Um, I will be supplying them as PNG files, so you'll be able to just apply them either directly to the model in Keyshot, or you can um, apply them in Photoshop, whatever you feel suits your needs. Um, so yeah, guys, I really hope you um, uh, get something from this uh, tutorial. Do find me an email if you get stuck or if you have any questions. Again, uh, thank you very much for purchasing and uh, it does encourage me to produce more of these. So yeah, let's get started.